Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. For those that are new, consider hanging out to the end. And everyone else, welcome back to our Staxel 1.3 playthrough. Uh, today is going to be fun. We're going to go right into the friendship kind of aspect of this game because that's something that was new in this update that we really haven't touched. But other than that, let's get started. So like I was saying, we were able to, well, I guess I should say first finish the thought before moving on. Like I was saying, I want to kind of go make friends with someone, see kind of how that works, if we have to give them presents, if we have to try to just kind of talk to them a bunch, and then all of a sudden we're friends and stuff like that. But just kind of give you a quick update of what we've done last episode is we were able to build the fishing spot for Raya, and we found our mine, which I think is in that corner. Okay, other than that, let's see. So now I guess the biggest question in the, I guess right now in the area is what I was trying to say is, who do we become friends with? Um, for those that are new and you kind of caught in that this series, I guess, you know, welcome, but you definitely missed a lot. But that being said, let me fill you in. Oscar right now, Oscar is our arch ne nemesis. I uh, can't tell you why he determined it with the kind of uh, weird comments he was going to say. And I have a hunch uh, even to this day, I do believe I have a few subscribers who also support me on this hunch. That is, Oscar's an undercover murderer. Like, what I mean by that is maybe not undercover, but he's a serial killer that hasn't been caught yet. He he threatens the town, he threatens us, and he threatens a lot of things. Um, And, you know, if you're not looking at for it, you would think that his dialogue is pretty harmless. But there's a few things that you're like, hmm, what's that going on? Like, for instance, this tile reminds me. He goes, oh, you better not mess up any tiles. You wouldn't want to... Something along the lines of, like, you don't want to be, like, the last guy that done it. You don't like, what'd you do then, Oscar? Y you can apply anything where they're like, oh, no, he's being fine and dandy. If not, you know, me, I'm like, that means something. Like, I need to rip up this floor and, and there he's going to be. Um, But other than that, I guess that's the, the point of all that. Anyways, let's just jump um into talking to someone other than Oscar. Because we need to be arch nemesis. Maybe next time. Okay. So we have not that many people. Only because this is pretty practically the stock world. Uh, the only thing that we've done was obviously was build my super house and the super barn. Um, okay. Let's go talk to maybe Eris or... Um, was that who was in here? Let's Whoever's in here other than Rowan and Farm Fan doesn't really count. Because I don't think you can talk to her. Oh, wait. But didn't we... Weren't we told to talk to her? Doesn't she have rewards or something? Westman too. It looks like you've achieved some interesting new feats. Here's some um here's something from the town for the to commemorate the occasion. Oh my gosh, an apiary, a milker, construction hat, cherry trees, witch windows, door frame onions. Dang. I don't forget to visit me in time from time. Okay, yeah, it is Eris. <clears throat> um oh, this is in my inventory. No, get out. Does that mean I have two milkers now, or did I not buy one yet? Farm fan. How can I be your friend if you don't even talk like half the time? Yeah, if you're here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're here talking to me, who's keeping an eye on the farm? I just assume she would say that angrily, although there's no... Where did Eris go? Is she, like, she glitched through you? That's a bedroom. Um, how's it going, Westman 2? Keeping well? Yes. You actually have more more dialogue than, than everything else. How's it going, Westman 2? Keeping well? Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> I lied. You did. Um, alright, Eris, let's see what's going on with you. Whoa! Oh, sorry. Wow! Nearly ran right over you there! You must be new around here! Okay. I'm Eris! Oh, we haven't talked to you? I skateboard and bugs are all my thing! Look me up sometime! Okay, we'll look you up right now. Someday I'd love to, s to go around- Oh, excuse me. I'd love to go on a ground adventure! Slay a dragon! Oh, is there a dragon in this game? Rescue a princess! Okay... You know, that kind of thing, right? Sure. Just now I'm questioning whether you're a guy or girl. I'm not so sure now. Have you seen my board lying around? I was going to skate, but I can't find it, it anywhere. See, that's a likely story. That's what I tell people when, you know, I'm trying to record like, oh, well, I don't have my computer. Have you seen it laying around? <laughs> that made no sense. Okay, come back here. I used to have, um, I used to have this childhood friend around here. We were complete opposites in every way. It was fun, though. See, uh, Oscar killed her. <laughs> What's been too? You don't have enough pockets. I always make sure I count my pockets before I buy clothes. Um, 
Can I see what are, where? Oh, there, well, there we are. I have pants. I can't see on the side, so I figure two, and then the, it's two on the back. It's four. Are you doing like? Well, first you're hovering. Second, well, nope. No, nah, all right. Come on, I'm trying to make this entertaining. I thought you know this would be like yeah. You know what's meant to? I really don't understand why some girls wear skirts. Yeah. <laughs> How can they wear something that only has one leg hole? We have two legs! I agree. I don't understand girls either, Eris. Hey, Westman 2, do you think a tie would look good with my tea? No. No, because it's more of like a... I don't know, script, spaghetti strap top thing? I don't... I guess, assuming that's what it is. I've heard all the cool, cool girls do it. I don't know. I mean, I guess there was once upon a time someone that would do it. I have a construction hat. What am I doing? Oh no, I need a, I need a dresser. Come on! This whole episode, I thought it was gonna be something interesting. I'm like, we're gonna get somewhere. Tie, tie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just spam real quick? Bug collection. Sure. How about a match sometimes? I'll wipe the floor with you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Board laying around. Ah, see, I don't know how to progress. Oh, whoa, whoa, here we go. Sometimes you'll come across bees near flowers. If you're lucky, you might even find a queen. Oh, that's just tips. Can I give you something? Like, do I have to find your Game Boy? Us uh, so just looking around trees, they're hanging on trunks. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've talked about this. Yeah, bug net, right. Which makes sense since you're a bug lady. Force night, sometimes swarm of fireflies, it's quite something. Man, okay, so let's let's not waste this entire episode, dude. Almost absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead and let's see about making our cows, putting down our apiary, um, and catching a queen bee, which we already did. Uh, I must have future-proofed and thinking about that when I was running around. I'm sure we talked about it like, oh, you know, hey, get out of here. Um, that's why we have our wall. It helps that Oscar doesn't come into our house. Oh, that scared me. I'm like, where's my fence? It, it's capped off right here. Okay, you girls happy? Yes, you have plenty of food. All right, let's see. Oh, you're busy. Oh, you're not busy. Okay, perfect. Musala, thank you. And Autumn, come on, girl. Just walk this way. Can I push you at all? Yes. Perfect. Go. There. You have no milk. I, okay, I guess. Oh yeah, look at our little workshop. So, let's see about planting this cherry tree. Let's not throw it on the ground, preferably. No. Pick it up. There we go. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so the sweet, sweet cherry fruit will grow in autumn and 18 days in the spring, summer, and autumn. Okay, the fruit is in autumn, but it will grow in all summer, spring, and autumn. Perfect. So let's, uh, didn't we talk about this? Maybe? Maybe not? No. Okay, so we want summer for the orchard, so now I guess I'll leave that up to you for this episode. So, if, I guess you, I'll put some numbers on the board, uh, at least on the map, if you think I should plant it in A... Or A, I said I'm going to put numbers. How about one? Um, we'll plant it there. Try, start an orchard there. Or two. Um, and I think that's the only good uh, places. So uh, you'll see a poll jump up right now and you just click one or two uh, to determine where we're going to start this orchard. Um, but, okay, that will be next episode. So for, you, you know, for those that are not sure about tuning in tomorrow, got to now. Now there's, now there's big important things. Okay, so... Apiary is pretty simple. Um, we need to put some somewhere where we won't be moving it a bunch. Um, because, you know, you don't really want to move these. I think, honestly, for now... Um, I see, I don't want to do that event that we're going to move. Make this bigger. I think right here. I know we're not going to extend this out much anymore. Okay, good. That was the right way. So, let me tell you guys a little bit about the apiary. Someone um, that might be new. So, an apiary is just that. It's a home for the bees, in case you were wondering. And you do need to find a queen bee. You know that it's a queen bee because it has a crown, and the tooltip will tell you queen bee. Now, you can find worker bees. The They don't have crowns, and they're a little bit smaller. Um, you'll find them around flowers. Now, this apiary will produce honey uh, every three days once it's met its quota of ten bees. Uh, for, let's say, for instance, you're having a hard time and you just can't find any. Uh, it takes... 10 stacks old days um, for it to auto-populate with a bee each time till it's full. So the more that you can fill it up, the better or the faster you'll be producing honey. For instance, if you only have three bees, it'll take seven days. If you have seven bees, it'll only take three days to fill, so on and so forth. So that's something that I recommend early on. Again, now that I realize they just hand one over to you. Uh, it's starting because it, it was definitely lucrative a along with the mine. Cause that's kind of my like speed quick. Uh, tips if you, you know, you want to kind of get into the meat of the game pretty quickly. Um, I don't know what I'm doing over here. I guess I'm trying to look for bees as I'm talking to you. So let's kind of guess. Let's do that. Um, 
as I kind of finish up my thoughts with the bees. Uh, yeah. So just remember now, something with the newer update, which is actually the last update, so 1.2 versus 1.3, they did add um, diminishing returns in regards to if you sell a bunch of honey, then you'll be fine. It takes a while for the market to refluctuate so that you actually sell a lot. But if you only sell one at a time, you'll keep diminishing the amount of uh, return or the amount of money each honey pot will sell for if you sell it in small quantities. So it still happens for big, but you're trying to get your most money out uh, of each sale before it starts uh, diminishing or going down. But other than that, I mean, you guys probably understand the rest. So that's kind of that. So kind of keep that in mind. That's why with this farm, I'm trying to get as much as I can done and growing almost as quickly as possible before, um, you know, I sell a bunch. So we're kind of starting that snowball. But I thought we got something else. We did. It grows in all four seasons. Perfect. So there we go. Speaking of, of trying to get stuff done. Now, another pro tip, too, is in the rain, you don't have to water. It's amazing. You just kind of just go around and you put it down, and then luckily the rain will take care of that. So that's something else we don't have to do. Um, I'm not really too impressed right now with trying to get the, the people to talk to me, and I'm not sure, uh, I might be doing something wrong. I mean, it's very positive that I'm doing something wrong. So let's go ahead and let's feed. Um, where's our kitty? Hello, are you inside? Um, you are, tiger. Okay, I was couldn't remember if it was tiger or something else. Tiger, you need to go outside, my friend. You're not gonna be able to eat, sir. Okay, you know what, we'll fix this real quick. So, again, another tip. If your pet goes disappearing or you're not sure where it went, go ahead and push it down. Or pick it up, I should say. Place it back down, and Tiger will spawn back. And he might be hungry. He might not be hungry, but let's check. Nope. Yeah, Tiger is positively growling with it. I think it's said excitement. Um, okay, so there's nothing in here. I thought I changed something, but I guess... No, you're back inside. You're such a cat. Look, you're even in the way. You're in the stairwell. Gosh, those half cats probably know like how bad cats just stand in hallways or sit in hallways or just sit in things you're like you you know you'll say you're folding laundry all of a sudden you leave for five seconds you know get water or whatever the reason is and you come back and your cat's just sitting on that fresh folded laundry and you're like get off of there okay uh, let's talk to Oscar just for the sake of things well uh, sometimes I come by an exorbitant uh, need to sweep a chimney unfortunately we don't have many chimneys around here. I think you're wrong about that one. I'm pretty sure. No, well, maybe I'm wrong. I know my house has a chimney. I think it does. Man, does my house have a chimney now? Uh, no. Okay, well, I'm a liar in this case. All right. What can I... Oh, interesting. What I wouldn't give for an RS-2001. A sweeping action is said to be divine. I hear nothing can... <laughs> I hear nothing can clean a street as half as well. Yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. You and your sweeping. Right? Cleaning up messes. Huh? Just trying to clean up bodies right, Oscar? That's what I thought. He's like, oh, you know, now it's hard, but then it would be easier with just the super artist clearing 5,000. I want to give for it. Okay, Ar Arcus 2001. That's not a cool number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you say anything else? Oh, my gosh. No, no, you won't. One more time. It feels good to patrol the village every night. See, it's stuff like this. I'm keeping an eye on our streets clean. Oh, right. Okay. All right, Eris, come on. One more time. Sometimes you'll come across... No, how do I get this friendship thing working? I don't know yet. I thought it was easy as just talking to them. I do know we have a journal. J for journal? There's nothing. Come on, there has to be something. Um. Oh, finish up the barn. Uh, oh, these... These are things we've done. We have cows. We've done that. Oh, is this just like a reminder in case we forget? We just can check our, our journal and be like, oh, that's what she said. And then there's nothing in there, and I don't think the stars do anything right now. Okay, well, that's not fun, man. Okay, so I, I had the game plan. Like, we talked to someone, and all of a sudden they'd be like, make me, I don't know, chocolate cake, or, or break me this, or something along those lines. But in this case, you know, nothing. So, I guess... Uh, I guess we'll just, um, what are we, we're on the eighth day of spring, meaning we have eight more days until spring ends. Let's, let's just sink the rest of our money into farm and <laughs> figure out what's going on. Why can't we just seem to talk to people? Hey, Leaf. Uh, seeds, my friend, uh, down here. What are we growing? 
beetroots were pretty expensive. How much are these? They go five days in spring, autumn, and winter. Um, okay, five days. Okay. And these seem to be expensive. So let's just grab as many of these as we can. Come on. Can I just buy them in bigger stacks? Oh, no. <laughs> Not 30. Come on. One more. Okay. That should be good enough. And then it gives us enough money. Let's cheat a little bit. Let's go ahead and just teleport back home. Although sometimes I think now it's easier just to run versus having to wait for this load. I don't know yet. Okay. We have 42 seeds we plant. We don't have to worry about watering because those that follow me know that I'm really bad about planting and watering when there's a time crunch. Uh, not that I just wait too long. Hey, we got an achievement. Plant 50 seeds. Okay. And I guess we can finish up this plot. All right. And that leaves 13 left. So I guess... What that means for us is let's go ahead and let's grab my hoe and let's just let's just get this going i don't know i still think this is quicker than having to worry about um what's the word instead of having to like hold or super dig however it works where's my hammer get out of here hey where's my hoe now there it is come on come on come on i got seeds to plant i don't want to so what we'll do right now is we're going to get them planted and then we'll worry about uh digging around it so again it's always good practice to dig around them, uh, just so that the grass doesn't grow over it, even though, you you know, this plot might not be in use. Do I not? Okay, I'm like, I don't have a shovel. Uh, just so they don't have to keep tilling it every time. I mean, I just like adding the, uh, come on, pull the flowers. I like adding the stone around it just because it looks neater to me um, and cleaner, just because it has a border and, you know, you can kind of really distinguish between what's, you know, the farm versus what's just the... Just normal dirt, so let's make a couple of these. I just realized we still have some materials ready. I didn't put anything there, no. Okay. Uh, did I have any on me? No, nope, I have 66, which I believe is exactly what I needed to make. I'm glad, honestly, that that farm fan gave us uh, milker. That's Again, that's another thing that we don't have to worry about in terms of spending money or capital or anything. We just kind of have it done now. Okay, so let's finish this back up. Let's guess get this looking in tip-top shape. Um, so the reason why I'm moving the farm over right now is because I kind of wanted this path. It looks really nice to me just to have this path. And I didn't want it necessarily touching this. So once these plants, I don't remember what these are, are fully grown, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move them over to these uh, planters right now. Uh, what we're going to do differently is eventually I'm going to turn them to five by uh, five by sevens, I think they are. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because you buy them in stacks of 30. So it's just good, at least to me, to have five extra in the event of anything. So that's how I like doing it. Again, it's just preference. You don't I mean do it however you want. Eventually, I know I usually like go double or triple that. But it's just fun. But it looks like we are running out of time. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this episode of our Stacks of Playthrough. Thank you all those that have been patient, that have been sticking in through the end. I appreciate all the veterans. I appreciate all the new people. I appreciate all, everyone in between. You know, I do appreciate, um, I know I'm saying it a lot, that you guys are still sticking around with my schedule. It's been, you know, I'm trying to work better on it. Um, and I do plan to live stream a little bit more than what I'm doing. But just for a recap, make sure that you vote so that you know um, we're going to plant or start the orchard. But other than that, that's all I got for today. So until next time, guys, keep it real. Mm -hmm.